Hi guys, I'm going to uh, waterproof this uh, Outrunner brushless motor today. Um, used for the water, you know. Uh, usually people use the Inrunner motor, uh, you know, completely sealed motor for the for the water, for the underwater. Um, but uh, generally speaking, the Outrunner is more efficient. Especially when when you the motor have very small uh, diameter, uh, because think about this is the all runner motor. There are so many uh, magnets right here, that makes the motor have the torque. You know, uh, if it's in runner with uh, the magnets is on this side, you know, you can't really put that many if it's the diameter is pretty small. So that's why um, with a small diameter, uh, generally speaking, the all runner is more efficient compared to the in runner. Uh, what I got is uh, I have this uh, you know bearing puller key I, I got from uh, Amazon. It's supposed uh, made for the motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They don't even put any uh, detail right here, but uh, yeah, that's the that's the key inside, you know, because uh, because uh, the the bearing right here, uh, it's just a very cheap bearing. I'm going to I, I already bought the uh, you know stainless steel bearing, so I bought the stainless steel bearing. So for the water use, you definitely need a stainless steel bearing. So uh, that's the thing. So uh, I'm going to uh, change the bearing first, and then I'm going to the, put a boxy to uh, you know cover everything. So the basically the brushless motor is already waterproof. You can directly use in the water, no problem at all. But uh, you want to put a, you know, proxy, you know, just block all the things, you know. So otherwise, the dirt will be trapped inside. So eventually, it will infect on your motor. So that's why we want to put a proxy, you know, just cover those wires. And also cover the, you know, magnet as well. So make it, uh, you know, more waterproof. <laughs> Real waterproof. Okay, yeah, that's uh, how that works. So uh, I'm going to pull the bearing out first. Uh, this key is pretty simple. It just depends on the size. And then, uh, you know, you put this in, uh, eventually will be, uh, make this larger to hold on the bearing inside, and then you can pull it out. Okay, you can see it doesn't, you cannot really put it out right now, which means it's hooked under, uh, under the bearing. And then uh, it has uh, things like this. You can just put in here, hold it. And then uh, turn from another side. That'll be pull up the bearing. Let's move this up. Okay, this is a hole in that place. I still actually need something smaller actually. That's too big. This is even too big. Uh, it's barely touch on that. Okay. I'm gonna put a, a washer here. No. And then you just turn this, there will be a uh, pull the bearing up. 
Okay. Yes. No. We don't have anything actually to turn it. <laughs> See? See, it doesn't work right here. Um, yeah, doesn't even put in. So I need a regular screwdriver. So I just use a screwdriver. Oh, turn the wrong way. Yeah, turn the wrong way. Make sure it's holding. It will be pulling up, I believe. Oh, see, it's pulling up right here. Yeah, pretty simple. I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, and then you just turn this out. So that's the bearing. So that's, uh, you know, just a regular cheap bearing. And this is a stainless steel bearing, the same size. And also, um, they have a rubber seal, that'll be a better seal. And then uh, we can just put in the inside. Uh, okay, I got a little hammer. I just push it down. And they have two bearings put inside. Okay, another one. Okay, looks really good right there. Okay, and another side is the same thing. And uh, what I'm doing here, <laughs> put it in a school. Yeah, that's that little tool only costs, I think it's like $25 or something. Uh, it's pretty cheap on Amazon. And uh, with all those tools, you can't really <laughs> pull this out. Uh. People usually buy even more expensive bearing uh, for, the, for the water use. Um, but uh, I think the stainless steel is good enough. Eventually, you need to change it. You know, it cannot use forever under the water. So maybe it's uh, you know more affordable. It just uh, you know whenever you need, you need to change it. Eh, looks more centered. So. That'll be the same thing. I hold it here and I turn. You can hear the sound of the bearing coming out. There's a sound, maybe the bearing come out. Yeah. So the bearings come out. Okay, let's uh, put the epoxy cover the motor. Uh, the thing is, uh, I'm going to put a little uh, grease, cover those uh, thread hole, you know, those things. So, just in case if I uh, put too much epoxy, you know, it will be. <laughs> It will be block those and then I cannot really screw any uh you know screws in so so that'll be uh I think I need to screw them in more or uh, just put this a little bit more oh a little bit more it's good yeah make sure it's come out from the other side okay okay Wait, no. Okay, 
So this is a one um, two part proxy, you know, the seam and harder. And I just uh, found a little <laughs> cup to measure measure because you don't really need uh, a lot, you know. That's enough to measure the thing we need. You don't you don't have to uh, you know just fill the proxy. You can pretty much feel any kind of glue you have. Uh, you know, just uh, make a, a you know double secure for the waterproofing. Um, but uh, usually the epoxy will be last longer. You know, it's more stronger material. Uh, it's much more stronger material compared to other glues. Uh, that's why usually people use epoxy. Yeah, that you got an idea, you know, how to uh, waterproof your uh, runner motor. Um, like I said, it's not really uh, necessary to do it. If you are just, uh, uh, if, you, if it's a motor just underwater for a short time, I mean, you don't really uh, permanently use underwater. You don't really need to do that. Uh, for because I'm I'm going to use this motor for the surfboard, uh, so that's why um, I want to uh, you know make sure you be uh, you be ready for underwater for a little bit longer time. Uh, yeah, use the in runner; it's a better idea, but. Uh, uh, the in runner, uh, eventually, you know, once the water got inside of the in runner, will cause more problems than the all runner. Because the all runner is thinking about the water got inside, will got get out. The only thing you need to replace is the uh, bearing. Uh, for the in runner, think about this: uh, your shift is still running, so they have all you uh, all you uh, spring price seal in the front um, to uh, to seal between the, the shaft so uh, but uh, eventually those things will be fall as well so as soon as the water get inside of the in runner that will be cause a lot of problem because the water cannot easily come out and uh, uh, yeah 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 so yeah that's the idea I mean uh, for the first time use, definitely in runner will, uh, you know, less work. You don't really need to do this job. Uh, but uh, for the longer run and for the efficiency, uh, all runner is better than in runner. Okay, that's the idea. And. Uh, I tried I tried a different motor on the on the surfboard. Um, so far, I, st I still not got enough speed to uh, standing up. But uh, eventually, I will get there, you know, and I will show you. Okay, see you uh, next time.